All right, everyone, Cody here, and welcome back to my lab. So before I started doing YouTube, I was working at a place called Utah Fabrication. You know, straight out of high school, I mostly just uh, swept the floors and serviced some equipment. But they cut a lot of steel there, and so they had some big tanks of liquid oxygen. They would use the oxygen to run some cutting torches that would cut the metal apart. And one day during lunchtime, I got talking to one of the guys who actually was running the oxygen cutters, and he was telling me about how uh, steel wool will burn in air, the real fine iron fibers will burn in the oxygen in the air. But if you have pure oxygen, a thicker piece of steel will burn. And that's exactly how the oxygen cutting works. You get the metal hot, blow pure oxygen over it, and the steel will burn. The heat generated will cause the steel around it to get heated, and you just continue along cutting the metal, which is really quite cool. But he also told me that if you took liquid oxygen, which is much more concentrated than the gaseous oxygen, and put it in something like, say, a cast iron pan, and then struck an arc in it with a welder just to get it started, the oxygen will cause the bottom of the pan to burn out. So let's find out if that's actually true, or if he was just talking shop to me. So here's what I've come up with. I've anchored the metal pan to a metal bar, which is tied to a brick, buried in the ground, and this is to get the grounding clamp far away. That way the oxygen doesn't burn the wires. I've also got a metal bar here, which I can attach to the other electrode, getting it far away as well. And I can reach into the pan and strike the arc. Now, for the actual arc striking, I'm not sure if this uh, seasoned metal is going to be good for that. So I'm going to grind a little spot here, just so I've got some bare metal to tack to. That should be plenty. That'll be my target. So I'll just hit that with the welding rod and I'll just kind of strike over it when the welder's on. Okay, let's go get the oxygen. So I'm going to pour the leftover nitrogen into the pan just to help cool it. So I'm not wasting as much not, oh, so I'm not wasting as much oxygen. Okay, welder's running, the pan's cold, there's the oxygen. Let me just tip out the rest of the nitrogen. Okay. Liquid oxygen. Notice it's a lot cooler than the nitrogen was. Got some arcs in there, but the pan did not catch fire. Okay, I'm gonna turn the welder up a little bit. I'm gonna try it again, and if it still doesn't work, I'm gonna light this uh, diesel fuel soaked rag on fire and throw that into it.
I definitely definitely got it to put a weld on the pan while it was in the oxygen. But it just didn't start the pan on fire. The rags are burned quick. <laughs> so there we are. It appears that if you fill a cast iron pan with liquid oxygen and strike an arc in it, it will not in fact remove the bottom. That guy I was talking to all those years ago, he'd probably never done it. But now I have. <laughs> and you know, I thought this might be the result, but I've always wanted to be sure, you know. But this result makes sense because first of all, this is a very thick piece of metal. Uh, it'd be very hard to get this going I think in any circumstance. But the most important thing is the iron oxide that formed, there was nothing to remove it. You see, with the high pressure oxygen jet that comes out of the cutting torch, it is able to blow away the iron oxide as soon as it forms, exposing more iron. So the oxygen is always in contact with fresh metal. Here, the fresh metal was exposed to the oxygen for a very brief period of time, before the oxygen, before the iron oxide covered it, preventing it from contacting the oxygen anymore, thus shutting off the reaction. So, Also the flux from the welding rod, that probably helped quite a bit, but still there was places where it had not been covered with flux and of course the sparks that are flying around. If it was gonna light the pan, it would have. In fact, this pan is hardly hurt. I could polish out those welds, re-season it and use this pan. Uh, the uh, oil-soaked rag, when I threw that in there, that burned pretty quick. That was kind of cool. <laughs> uh, but that didn't hurt the pan either. So, there we are. Uh, maybe that information will help in some niche context somewhere <laughs> one day. But uh, in the meantime, hope it was enjoyable to watch, and I'll see you next time.